Avoidu Zara Perak Lifnei Dehen Davchav Beis, sponsor the Rafua Shlema for Shania Bas Kaimdo. If Shimon Elazar holds, a person should not rent his field to a Kuti because it is known to belong to the Jew, who will be accused of hiring him to work on Chalamoyed. Whereas, to a Gentile, it is permitted to rent. The reason. The Jew instructs him not to work on Shabbos. The Gentile will respect his wishes. However, the Kuti will react that he is more learned. In addition to being prohibited because it is known to be the Jew's field, it is also prohibited because of lifnei iver, giving the kuti the opportunity to violate cholamoyim. The Gemar brings a ruling concerning a partnership of Jew and Gentile. They share crop the field of saffron, the Gentile work Shabbos, and the Jew Sunday. Rava permitted this arrangement. Question. A Brysa states, number one, if they contracted to work together, each is responsible for half of each day of the week. They agree before the beginning of the work. The Gentile will work Shabbos and the Jews Sunday. The Gentile is working Shabbos at the, as the Jews' agent. Number two, they agreed to this arrangement before establishing a partnership. The Jew was never obligated to work Shabbos. Number three, nothing was arranged in advance. They both were responsible to work a half of each day. Even if subsequently they agree that the Gentile works Shabbos, the Gentile is his agent, prohibiting any profit related to Shabbos. Situations 1 and 3 prohibit a Jew profiting. How could Ravah permit it? The answer. Their arrangement was situation 2. They agreed to exchange Shabbos for a different day before establishing a partnership. Rav Gavia brings a different version. They planted saplings of Arla. Initially, they contracted to share the work, but later agreed the Gentile would work and eat the first three years, the Jew the next three. There are two problems with this arrangement. Number one, the Gentile became an agent of the Jew. Number two, the Jew exchanged the forbidden Arla fruit for the second three years, benefiting from Arla. Rubber permitted this because, number one, there is no prohibition for the Jew to work our land, but to benefit from its produce. Therefore, it does not matter that he was the Jew's agent. Number two, the Jew does not receive produce in exchange for our because they receive produce for the years of work, whereas Sunday's produce cannot be divided from Shabbos's produce. Ravina brought the Bryce in support of Rava not to challenge him. Just as the Jew can benefit from Shabbos work of a Gentile, so long as he is not his agent, the Jew can benefit from the Arla produce so long as the Gentile is not his agent. Hadron Allah Lifne Ideen. The first Mishnah of Perak Ein Mamidin discusses laws instituted by the Chachamim to counter the depravity of Gentiles. Number one, it is prohibited for a Jew to stable animals at the inns of idolaters. The reason, they are suspected of bestiality. Number two, it is prohibited for a Jewish woman to seclude herself with a Gentile, the reason they are suspected of licentiousness. Number three, it is prohibited for a Jewish male to seclude himself with a Gentile, the reason they are suspected of murder. Question, a Bryce states a Jew is permitted to buy an animal from a Gentile for a sacrifice. A sodomized animal is prohibited to use as an offering. Why is such a purchase permitted? The answer. Number one, the Gentile will not chance damaging his animal's reproductive organs, sterilizing her. They are suspect regarding others an other animals. Male animals deteriorate. Number two, a shepherd fears losing his salary. However, he is not afraid to sodomize a Jew's animal. Number three, a woman fears the animal would follow her around, publicizing her behavior. However, a dog is different. She will not be suspected of bestiality. People assume she feeds it. Question. Why is it prohibited to stable a female animal with a female Gentile? The answer. If her lover did not find her, he would cohabit with the animal. Number two. Even if she was available, he could prefer the animal. The reason. The nachash contaminated Chava, causing her progeny to desire forbidden pleasure, whereas Jews who received the Torah expunged their contamination. If you're enjoying Daphne 5, please click on the link below, subscribe, and become a sponsor. Thank you.